Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can add Swagger to your Flask APIs easily so that you can give something to the, like this to your clients or you can use this to test your APIs. So all these, all these things are automatically created. So here there's the header, there's the parameters here. So all these things are automatically created. I didn't have to do anything for it. So let's see how we can add this to your Flask API or any other API. So this is the code that I have. It's pretty simple code here and uh, we can ignore these things and we can just look at the API here and what it is doing. So it's for searching for a file that is sent. So if I go back here, as you can see, there is an option to upload a file. So it checks if file is uploaded or not. If it is not uploaded, it just says no file uploaded and then it checks the extension of the file and then it looks for some, some more stuff from the API that is call type, two number, retry count and so on. And right now it's just responding with call skewed and nothing else is there. Also, this there's this uh, decorator here that is required app key. This means that we also need this uh, X API key header. So let's see how we can add Swagger so that this is automatically created for you to test your APIs or give to some clients to test it. Okay, so first of all, open your terminal and install something called Flasker. Type pip install flasker, hit enter, and this helps you to create uh, integrate Swagger into Flask APIs. So once this is installed, what you need to do is you need to just add some comments here. So I have the full thing here. I'll just paste it here and uh, explain to you what it does. Okay, so as you can see, this is the comment here. Now this is not actually a comment, it's a string, Python string. So raw string as denoted by the three quotes here. So basically I'm just saying endpoints to start call. And then we have a parameter field here. Inside parameters, we have a header here. So, but this has to be specifically like this. So we're just defining there's a header. Name of the header is X API key. It's type is string and it is required. It's set to true. And the description is the API, application API key. So the required is true here, set to true here. So it means that if I go here and check here, as you can see, it shows required. So for all my string here, uh, this Flasker will automatically read this and create UI according to this string here. So this X API key, it is a header and it is required. That is all created from the documentation string that I have here. And now we need, okay, let's check the API itself. We have four things here. That is call type, two number, retry count, and a file, right? So what we do for that is we create these four sections. So first name of the field is file and it is in form data and the type is file required is set to true for this too. So just by using these four lines, our uh, this thing is automatically created. And since the type was set to file, we have this. Now you can click on try it out here and this will become clickable. So you can choose files and stuff. Similarly, there is another field called two number, retry count, call type, and yeah. And there is data type for all these things. Everything else is a string except this one. This one is a file. And then we have description for all the fields here. And that description is shown here. As you can see, application API key, phone number, and so on. And finally, we have what are the possible responses here. So, uh, and those responses are explained here. So first we define 200 OK, that is the uh, default 200 OK response code. We just say success call skewed, and we define the schema here as object and so on. So you don't need to have all these things here. So we say error type is Boolean if there's an error and data contains. So these two are the responses, right? So we get data, some value here, and inside error, we either get false or we either get true. So we are just explaining it here. So the data inside error will be a Boolean, data inside this data field will be a string. And similarly, it's the same for 401, that is unauthorized, and 400, that is bad request. So yeah, this is the possible responses. And now let's, I will run this. So if I run this here, 
as you can see it is running now and i'll just reload this okay so if i just open this it will not show anything you have to add slash api docs here and then this will come up now you can just click on this you can try it out and i'll just copy the api key from my application here and having the api key like this here is not a good practice you need to have it somewhere else not inside the code and you can now choose a file so i'll just choose something here okay and then just just add some random data here and click execute so here i'm getting an internal server error it, the error is no such file or directory because i don't have an uploads folder here so if i can create uploads folder here okay, it's not a folder and if i execute this again this time as you can see i get this response okay and all the possible responses are below this responses title so this is how you can easily add Fla uh, swagger to your flask apis and this follows open api uh, specification so you can see the documentation there if whatever i've shown you here is not enough because this is pretty basic they are just uh, fields and then a file and then header and we have responses possible responses now you can delete this if you don't want this basically in descriptions also in responses also there's a response code description and schema that is what is the response a response is an object and the properties of the response that is uh, there is an error field that will be sent and there is a message field that will be sent so yeah this is it if you have any questions let me know in the comments below